Hi! How is everyone? It has been a hot minute since I've done a live. Longer than a hot minute, more like a hot week. Sorry guys. Um, I've just been super crazy. So I did make that video though on the um, stains. So I'm like, alright. Hi Sam. Um, I'm also kind of like, I don't know, just trying to find my groove again. What's up? Uh, so I've just kind of been in like this crazy mood. So, but I am back. I have a great spray tan going on right now. At least it's great to me. Um, so now I gotta figure out what color I am. So that's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I haven't been on here in a while. Let's do a live. Um, so I have my primer on already. I just gotta figure out what color I am now. Thank you. I had to do my hair because I had it up in like this messy bun for a while. And, like, it just looked like crap. So, I was like, alright, let's just curl it. So, um, also, I wanted to dis do say a disclaimer on this. So, I know I did that video. Hi, Leo. Um, I know I did that video about the lip stains and putting in your hair and how it washes out. I have to say something because you guys can probably see that little bit of pink here. I have such light hair that holds onto color like crazy. You know, those, like, temporary hair dye kits that came out, like, forever ago. And they're like, oh, washes out in 10 hair washes. They would last a year for me okay so disclaimer it does wash out like all of this up here is gone but there's some here so just a heads up that was my bad I was like oh I didn't tell people that part hi Jenna so just so you know my hair just holds color like no one's freaking business so I mean it's a good thing because when I get my hair dyed I'm like yes but when I want to go back to a blonde color when I was red and I went back to blonde yeah that was a process still processing there's still red in small chunks it's just it's never gonna end <laughs> so all right we gotta figure out what color I am I have no clue no clue um definitely not Camlet look how light that is compared to my spray tan definitely not Camlet um I wanna say I may be that wool color that I can't say that wool the wool color that I cannot say, or maybe chiffon? I don't know. But I do want to show you a fun little tip and trick. Um, I might actually have to do like a BB cream or something because I literally don't think my powder is gonna hold up with this. I don't know what I am, especially with the new press powders. But I did want to show off one of my great tips and tricks um, for a glow. This is no longer available, but I really want to show it off. So I have my primer on already. Um, these are no, unfortunately no longer available. Me. Hi, Lori. Uh, so, but you can still do this with the powders or the cream to powder stick. So actually, I'm going to do it with the cream to powder stick to show that off to you. So I'm going to use the color Lustrous. This is our cream to powder stick. I have nothing on except for primer, okay? And I'm putting some on the highest parts of my cheeks, under my brows, down my nose, on top of my lip. All right, like I would do a normal highlight, okay? But I'm blending it in because when I put my actual foundation on, it's going to shine through just enough where you guys are going to see a big difference still. So I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender away from my seltzer with the setting spray. You want to do it with the setting spray. So I'm using Lustrous, which is one of the darker um, highlighters. It's like a more bronzy gold color. Not a bronzy gold. Um, more, how do I want to describe it? Because bronzy gold, I would say, is definitely, um, bronzy gold would be more, what's that word I want to use? Opaline. Opaline is more of that bronzy gold. This is definitely more of a nice rich gold. So we are blending this in. in all the right spots. So, having that on, oh wow, I was like yelling, and that's because we have the dehumidifier going on downstairs now, so that was loud. Um, so blending that in, that's going to start giving me that nice natural glow before, hi Lexi, before I start blending in my foundation. So we're going to move on to foundation. Um, I got to figure out what color I am. Am I Jacquard? Am I? This is Jacquard. I think that might be two lights too, so we're going to see. Actually, that might be okay. We're going to try a Jacquard. We're going to try it. So, taking our powder puff brush. So, these are brand new. They're very pigmented. Oh, yeah. That works. Sasha is barking outside and I don't know why. These are really, really pigmented. Like, strong pigmented. 
Like, holy guacamole. And I totally got some in the wrong spot. Up on our forehead. So these are the new colors. So Jacquard is one of the new colors. Ooh, I really like this. I swear it matches. <laughs> uh, so Jacquard is one of the newer colors. So it is very strong, very pigmented, um, full of color. I'm just trying to get my neck. When I get a spray tan, my neck is really hard just because, like, um, you know, you use that more. And you have to, like, stay, like, perfectly still when you get it done. Like, I'm talking perfectly still. Okay, like, don't move an inch. And, um, but I love it. So doing that, like, you know, but you still naturally move your neck around. And naturally moving your neck around, you're still getting, um, some creases and stuff. So it's just something you have to, like, maintain and kind of pay attention to. All right, so Jacquard works really well for a spray tan lawn. <laughs> so when I have a spray tan, I know what color to go for. All right, now next up, I'm going to use um, some of the mineral uh, concealers. These are still on our website. We are selling out of them. There's only one color that's officially sold out, and that is fresh. So this color I'm using is frivolous. So we're going to use a little bit of frivolous. And we're using sticking to powders for our highlight and contour because we started out with a powder. If you start off with a powder, you have to continue using powder. If you start off with a cream, you can switch over to, hi Allison, uh, you can switch over to a powder later on. But you don't want to go, it's okay to go from cream to powder, you can't go powder to cream, okay? Big important information, all right? That will mess you up, all right? That'll mess up your look, and you're not going to be happy with it because it's going to make everything, like, kind of congeal, and it's not going to be cute, okay? Important tip of the day. <laughs> so we're doing this for our highlight and contour. This is actually really strong. I'm still, like, getting used to, like... It's hard. When you get a spray tan, you don't know what color you're going to be. You just... And you have to, like, figure it out as you go along. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so now I'm going to use our Beachfront Bronzer in Sunset, which is our lighter color. I know, crazy. Why is she using a lighter color when she's a darker skin tone right now? I'm using the lighter color because the darker skin tone is already creating a natural contour with my high cheekbone. So this is just going to enhance it a little bit more, okay? This is just going to kind of make the look a little more solid. So we're using Sunset. See, it's much more natural looking. And you guys can still see the shimmer from our stick, our cream to powder stick highlight popping through. Trying to make this a fast face. I haven't gone live in so long, I forgot what it's like. What do I do? My family calls this my talking to myself show. I'm like, that is eerily accurate. I mean, I do answer your questions and stuff, but it's like, but none of you guys are actually here. <laughs> You're all talking to me through this tiny little camera phone. I need a sip of salsa. Seltzer is my jam. I love it. I don't know how I lived without it. I really love seltzer. All right, so I'm using our brow palette in Brunette. Brow palette. And I'm using this tiny little brush. I'm going to start off with the wax here. So it comes in blonde brunette and dark brunette black. Um, I know some ladies prefer black brows if they have black hair. Um, I can recommend one of our splurge cream shadows for that. It's black because then that way the splurge cream shadow gives you the same concept of the wax here and the powdery finish. So we are filling in with the wax. Also this weekend, I'm probably going to avoid my phone because I'm so jealous of everyone going to taste the country this year. I sold our tickets. We ended up selling them. Uh, I got hired for some stuff this weekend. Excuse me. And we just, I don't know, we, Leo and I kind of reached the point where we're like, eh, we're too old for this stuff. But that's easier said than done because I'm watching all my friends go and I'm like, I want to be there. I want to be on the mountain. So, kind of sad. Kind of sad. 
So fill it in. Hi, Crystal. I love this brush. This brush is actually from Mud, which is a makeup brand. It's like the perfect little tiny angled brush. I love it. All right, so I'm going to use the light brown first. So these are powders. So you want to start off with the powder in the lighter color toward the um, beginning of your brow. And that's what the wax is for because when you add the uh, powder on top of the wax, it's going to hold it much better. Hold it tighter, hold it put together more. So we're doing short little hair like strokes. Always do a short little hair like strokes. It's much more natural looking. So again, short little hair like strokes. And then we're going to go into the dark brown here. So we're going to map up our brow first. Filling in. Again, following that short little hair like stroke, slowly filling in the top part of our brow. You want to add the color in too as you go along. This is where I'm so glad my eyebrows are microbladed because otherwise I would be struggling with this so bad. And I used to struggle with it because I had like no eyebrows but like they were so overgrown and just a hot mess express. So I'm glad I had them microbladed because this makes this step so much easier. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take the light brown again. And start blending these together. Trying to make sure they're even. They're even. All right, and then I'm actually going to do. I'm going to do my eyes before I do that highlight part. What palette should I use? So as you guys know, this month's kudos, you get a um exclusive makeup bag about this big. Exclusive makeup bag. You get the eyeliner brush, which is brand new, um, and will not be released to the public until July. Hi, Virginia. Um, then you also get an addiction palette in your choice and you get your lip stain color in a choice. Okay. So I'm trying to decide. I'm wearing a lot of black and gray. So I'm probably going to use palette two. Um, palette two is one of my favorites. Palette three. All right. I'll do palette for three for you, Sam. So good call. Cause palette two and palette three are slightly similar. So this is palette three and actually real good call. Cause it was within like grabbing distance. This is palette three. It's called the Hopeless Romantic Palette. Um, super pretty purple and pink shades, like very nice and soft. Um, you could do a lot with it. You can really take it from day to night very easily. So using this one, let's start off with this matte color here, Determined, which is a matte, like light mauvey purple. Good call, girl. I'm really sad. I really created a nice look with it the other day, palette three, before I went to work and before I taught spin class. And I totally did not do a how-to or a live video. And I also did not um, take a before picture. So I only had the after picture like of how well it held up after my spin class. So I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it's good and bad. <laughs> All right, so we put Determined on first. Next up, what do I want to do next? Oh, I want that brush. I want that brush. Yeah, I saved it. Okay, so next up, I'm going to do more of the, hmm, more of the pinky tones, I think. We're going to do more of the pinky tones. So we're going to use Tickled. Tickle. By the way, so that Kudos bundle um, is $69.00. So it's almost, I can't remember how much of a savings. But this palette by itself is $49. Bam. 
So you're getting a huge savings because then the lip stain is 22 and I believe the new um, eyeliner brush is 12 on its own. So you're getting a huge deal. You are getting that brush for free along with the bag. So I say ballin. All right, so we're bringing this in a little bit. I'm using our unique deluxe brush. Pulling that in. All right, so getting that nice little pink halo. Halo. Um, next up, we're going to use Ecstatic, which is this shimmery. Let me see if I can get a good swatch of it. Probably not just because I don't have any primer on the back of my hands. So I'm like kind of soaking it in. So this is Ecstatic. All right. So it's a nice silvery pink shimmer. It goes on pretty dark. So we're going to use that toward the outside. Right in the crease there. And right on the outer V. So right in the crease and right in the outer V. We use Tickled up top. So right in the crease and right in the outer V. It sounds like my dogs are destroying something outside. I'm a little nervous. I hope they're not destroying something. They might be destroying something. Knowing my luck, they are. So again, adding it into the inner cor outer corner there, the outer V. I'm going to clean that up there a little bit. Let's clean that up. Where's the brush that I use for that? Ah, okay. Okay. Perfect. Next up, let's see here. I'm trying to decide how I want to go do this. How do I want to do this? Next up, let's use a little bit of smitten here which is this nice shimmery, because I can't talk kind of cool, this nice shimmery silver color here. And we're going to add that to the inner corner. Onto the rest of our eyelid. Need to brighten these eyes up, so we're going to bring it in a little bit more. More, really more into the inner corner, okay? Brighten those eyes up. Then I'm taking Smitten again and blending it out under my brow here, right where that pink is. So I'm not using the highlight from the brow palette because as I'm doing this, I'm like, no, this works out better. Oh, yeah, we needed to brighten this up. Hi, Paula. All right, so now we have some nice, pretty, subtle, purpley pink eyes. So nothing too, too crazy, which I like. What's up? I need a sip of seltzer. Hold on. Only problem with the seltzer, it's a little warm. A little bit. Should I do a wing or do I avoid the wing? What do I want to do? Wing or no wing? It's like deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. I'm shaking it up just in case I decide. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You would, woman. I think I'm going to do a wing. So I'm going to first outline my eye with the black pencil. I think I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it. Because apparently I hate my life. No, I'm only kidding. No, just sometimes when you do a wing, it's like, you got to like really mentally prepare yourself. Like, think of yourself as like a boxer in the ring, okay? And you're just like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. You got to like psych yourself up. That's how I feel a lot of time when it comes to a wing. I'm not going to lie. Um, Do I have a black pencil close by? You know what? Actually, I'm not going to bother with that. We're going to use a brush and use the black in palette three. Genius. Sometimes I come up with some smart ideas. Sometimes. All right, we're using our, actually, brow artist brush for this part. 
So I'm going to use the small little angled side here, and I'm using the color Irate. I'm literally tapping this in here because it is so pigmented, okay? Like, I'm going to tap it, and that's how pigmented it is, all right? Just by tapping, I'm not even brushing it. I'm going to start getting as close to my lash line as possible. Like so. Kind of beginning the mapping out. There we go. All right. I'm always nervous about doing a wing live. I don't know. I tackled it pretty well the other day. So I'm like, okay, maybe like this will be okay. So I'm using our dip and draw in perfect. Dip and draw in perfect. Cause that's what I am. No, I'm not. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Don't, don't take that too seriously. Whoever is watching this, please don't. <laughs> I am so far from perfect. All right. We're tracing it out where we want it to go. Those look nowhere near even. All right, that might be okay. All right, Ooh, pray for me. Y'all ready for this? Oh, okay. Now I just gotta copy that on the other side. That's easy, right? never easy guys it's never easy <sighs> all right not even so we're gonna fix it like this one's like a straight wing and this is like an up wing with some like tips and tricks to like really get like the perfect wing I have yet to do that and shooty shoot I know what's upstairs and I don't have it down here dang it dang flab it oh here's one all right so I'm using the end of a spoolie brush here to clean that up which is slightly helping. There we go. It's getting a little better. I'm gonna brighten this. Brighten up my lamp. All right, so it's almost like to my approval of perfection. Almost. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Wait, this might be okay. I think I did it. Guys, what do you think? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Huh? I'm gonna do something fun with this now. I've decided I don't have enough glitter in my life. So, we're gonna torture myself a little bit more. Because that's what I like to do. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta fix that. I can fix that easily. So, say you do that. Say you're doing a wing liner. 
And that happens, okay? Can I just show you what to do? Oh, here's a spoolie. There we go. Hi, Keisha. So, you, again, you take a plain spoolie. And you just slowly, carefully, gently rub it away. I'm a genius. Actually, I got that from someone else. I cannot take the credit for that. So, fun fact. Bam! All right. I'm in a really weird mood today. I had M&M's. For breakfast. So, yeah. My best friend calls me up. She's like, hey, come meet me at Target. And I was like, hey, okay. Thanks, Keisha. So, I was like, okay, I'll meet you at Target. And I didn't eat yet. <laughs> so, I had M&M's for breakfast. In hindsight, not a good idea. But, I don't care. <laughs> They were delicious, and they were chocolate, not chocolate, no, not chocolate. What were they? They were the coffee nut M&M's, and they were delicious. And I'm really impressed with how well these wings came out. I'm just like, ah! Okay, I need to find my, the glue, not real glue. Where's my, I have um, a special uh, primer for glitter, and I want them to know where it is. Oh, here it is. Alright, so we're going to use a little bit of primer for glitter. You had champagne for breakfast and you didn't invite me. I don't like you. No, I'm kidding, Sam. I love you. So I'm using a glitter primer. Glitter primer. I'm going to clean that brush off real quick. Because it's got a lot of glitter on it. How did you have champagne for breakfast? Like, tell me. And why was it not mentioned to me? Champagne is for champions. Oh, oh. That wasn't cool, dude. But I mean, that's cool. Don't play with my emotions like that, woman. You know I would do anything for champagne. I had this, like, dream in my head. Can I tell you guys about my dream? So I try to set goals for myself and reward myself with a, a reward when I hit that goal. Okay. And so, a lot of you guys know I am trying so freaking hard to get to, ooh, I'm going to use the pink glitter, to get to um, green status. Green status is a huge freaking deal, okay? It's top 2% of the company. So, I'm using some NYX glitter. Top 2% of the company. And um, you get to, if I get it by the end of this month, I get to walk across the stage at convention. Um, What else? There's bonus points. Oh, there's a car bonus. Like, it's a big freaking deal, okay? And I'm trying to get my team and I to do it so bad. I want us to be a green status team. Like, no one's freaking business. And, um, so it's a really big deal. So I'm like, alright, when I hit green, and this is like what's been playing in my head, like, okay, when I hit green, when I hit green, when I hit green, when we hit green, when my team hits green, I'm like, I'm getting one of the best bottles of champagne out there and I'm celebrating with that because I love champagne. So, and I know, don't celebrate with alcohol. <laughs> how do you not celebrate with alcohol? Without, how do you celebrate without alcohol? However, I do know that I could probably have a piece of cake or something. But that's been like my goal. Unfortunately, I still haven't reached that goal yet. I'm trying so freaking hard. Ah! I know I could be trying harder, but. So that's on me. That is my deal. All right, so. We have some nice shimmery glitter, and I actually really like that. I think I'm going to have to use that on some of the models at the fashion show this weekend. Alright, next up. Let's do 3D fiber lashes or epic. 3D. Alright, so we're going to use our 3D. I'm going to curl my lashes first. Using this ancient torture device invented by... men but us women still buy it thanks girl so yeah I'm really 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 hoping we can hit green this month I really hope so all right so we're applying the gel transplant first
a nice thick coat of that. So gel transplant first, and then we're going to take our fibers. Roll them on the back of your hand, okay? Most important tip, roll them on the back of your hand, all right? And then applying them from the middle to the tip. Super important that you do that if you want them to be long lasting and to really stick to your lashes. Hi, Sarah. So, and then again, if you feel like your mascara is not working right, twirl it, don't pump it. That puts bacteria back into it. So you want to twirl your mascara. Twirl it, twirl it. All right, and then we're gonna do one more coat of that. So again, fibers. Roll it on the back of your hand. Oh, wait, this is cool. I can show you guys this too now. So remember how I drew on that dip and draw? It's not moving. Hey, even that's like sticking pretty well for a powder with no primer. So fun fact. So again, middle to the tip. And sealing it in with gel transplant. You always want to seal it in with gel transplant. Paul, I meant to ask you, did you get my message the other or yesterday? I sent you a message. Did you get it? And we're sealing it in with some epic. Just for a little extra shabam. Alright, so this is with two coats of 3D and one coat of epic. So that is now all nice and done, this eye. So now we gotta do the other eye. Other eye. So taking our gel transplant. Okay, no rush. Hi, Jen. Awesome. So we're applying our gel transplant first. And then we are going to add our fibers on. So again, roll it on the back of your hand. Always want to do that. Can't stress that enough. It's so important. And then from the middle of your lashes up to the tip. Oh, that's a big chunk. Hi, Brandy. So middle to the tip. And then, again, gel transplant. I gotta start using my lash serum again. I'm so bad with my lash serum. I really love it, and like I'm always like, wow, look at the difference in my lashes. I should remember to use this more often. And then I forget, again. I'll like be really good for a while and then I'll totally forget. So again, I'm rolling it on the back of my hand. This is the second coat. Middle to the tip. Now we can close that bad boy up. Seal it in with our gel transplant and then a coat of that thick. Anyone else make really funny faces when they're doing their mascara? Like, I feel like I'm doing like the weird squinty thing. And I am. But that's what gets you the results you want. All right, this is what annoys me about wings, ready? I'm like second guessing if this one's a little longer than this one, but I know part of it is the shadow. So I'm like, okay, do I need to like add a little more here? 
but that's gonna be a decision I make probably in a minute. And then I do some epic for a little extra show. Bam! You know what I mean? Yes, or if I am feeding. Yeah! Especially this face when I get my bottom lashes. I gotta tell you about that face, okay? So, whenever I do that, <laughs> I'm like, that's the image that Facebook or uh, YouTube will pause my videos on. I'm like, I'm like, thank you. Thanks, guys. That's the image. That's the still you choose. That is the still you choose. Thanks so much. You guys suck. That's why it happens every time. Every time. Hmm. Oh, I feel like it's slightly longer, but I know if I touch it, then I'm going to hate my life, so I'm just going to leave it alone. All right. Next up, these lips. What do I want to do? Just about any color will look good because I'm so freaking dark. I don't want to do serendipitous. Ooh, smoldering. This is smoldering. What do we think? Or do you want to keep it like a nude lip? Hmm. What do you guys think? Smoldering or a nude? What'd you do? That's my mom. Smoldering. Sam, thank God. You answer all my questions. I love you. Um, where's that lip liner I want? I have a lip liner that I want to use. Hold on. Oh, there's that black eyeliner I was looking for. Hmm. Where'd it go? I like to use a lip liner. Just to, like, make sure everything kind of, like, stays in tucked. Love it, but nude looks great with what you have. I don't know how... I got what you meant. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Where are you going? Morning. Never mind, it's Thursday. She's going to Keegan's. Keegan's night. All right, we're just gonna do smoldering. I know my mother too well. Ooh, maybe I should have stuck with a nude. Nice and dark and deep. Letting that dry a little bit before I put another coat. Ooh, I could use this one. So this is actually an eyeliner, okay? So this is called Purposeful. This is actually an eyeliner. Um, also, just want to show you guys. So that swatch of smoldering I put on the back of my hand, it's not moving. And then this is Purposeful. So I'm going to line my lips with that. I'm not a big fan of it as an eyeliner. I've only used it a handful of times as an eyeliner. Usually I just use it as a lip liner. But that's what's great about these products. They're so versatile. You can use them for just about anything. So, let me do one more layer of smoldering. But yeah, so that's not moving. Neither is that eyeliner. Okay, the eyeliner moved. But the lip stain is not moving. So that's part of this month's, lips, uh, this month's kudos as well. And I'm glad they brought that back. Because... They haven't done a kudos with the lip stain in it in so long. It's been like well over a year, I think. I'm 
Emma and Jeff are losing their brains outside. So we have our lip stain on and smoldering. From a distance it actually looks better. It's weird because like being up close I can't really see it very well because of this ring light. This ring light is very vibrant. So having that it's really convenient. Hi Kim. It's convenient but being so close up so you guys can see what I'm doing it like makes me lose my perspective. So all right let's see here. Let's do I want to do a little more highlight on my cheeks. So even though we did the, oh, there's that one that I was looking for. Lustrous, before we put on our foundation, I am still going to hit it with just a little bit of a la mode in Lustrous to just kind of enhance that color a bit. See them, if I can open it. Come here. I have another Lustrous here somewhere that, like, oh, here we go. So this is Lustrous. And it is indeed very Lustrous. So. Putting on the highest part of our cheekbones here. And Luscious is a really good color for me right now with the spray tan. Oh my god, Sasha, stop barking at everyone. Sasha, my brother's dog, is like the worst. She barks at everything. Everything. Rex has now become quite chill. He's not too bad. He's gotten a lot better. Um, for those of you who know, I have a very reactive dog. Very reactive. Um, he's gotten a lot better, but I think it's mostly because he's like, she's got it for barking at the post office man and all this other stuff. So, who knows? Alright, so now we're going to spray this down with our setting spray. So. I could put smoldering in my hair. So kind of like how it came out today, so I'm like, and I know it's going to like straighten it if I do that, so we're just not going to bother. But, and that's our look for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I always, always, always greatly appreciate it. You guys have no idea. Um, if you guys have any questions at all about this month's kudos, please let me know. I'm wearing it today. Um, also, in other news, uh, super close to Cancun, super close to hopefully hitting green this month. Praise. And if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to message me. We've got a lot of great stuff going on, and I hate for you to miss out. In the meantime, have a lovely Friday Eve. All right.